Hey everyone, and welcome back to episode 659 of Fallout 4. Last episode, I made it to Jamaica Plain. I had no clue what this place I thought this was going to be like a giant instance area for some reason. I had no clue what this place was going to be. I found a workshop, and apparently if I kill all the enemies here, it's mine. Ooh. That's got me pretty excited. It has me really excited. We did finish up things at Shaw High School. We're done with that area. One thing I'm noticing, however, is this place is strangely a bit framey. If I look eh, like that way sometimes, I notice a slight frame dip. So I'm hoping that gets better. But uh, if this is a settlement, yeah, like this way, I, I saw like 40 for a second. But if I clear out all the enemies here and I can make, oh God, you only saw that, like the frame tank. Blech. Some areas in the game are just like that. But uh, I need to go through here and find every ghoul and kill them all because if this can become my settlement, I am about to become an incredibly, incredibly happy camper. It's a very well positioned settlement in the uh, the scheme of things when it comes to looting and whatnot. Got it. And I always welcome another drop off point. And I'm really, really looking forward to building up an area like this because this is flat. I am looking at all the buildings. Hmm, look, there's a. Okay, so there's an enemy in there. Do you see that tiny little outline? It looks like there's an enemy in there. There's an enemy in there. There's a ghoul over there. What's all this? Oh, he didn't like that. You, you gonna wake up whoever's in there? You gonna come after me? Yeah, I need to just bait out all the ghouls. Hey, uh, do I have a, uh, I don't have a, I don't have an unsuppressed weapon. Damn. <laughs> hey, wake up. Wake up. I see you over there. No sleeping. How much do you want to bet I accidentally kill a not ghoul? <laughs> It'll probably happen at some point. I see a ghoul right there. Dude, there are so many ghouls in this city. This is insane. Ooh. Why don't, why don't I have fancy scary music? They can't do anything about it. They can't get me. Dude, this building has like six of them. This is awesome. Feels like a damn zombie wave. Like a zombie horde. This is great. There's just there's just so many ghouls. Uh, hello, whoever's in here, you wanna you wanna come say hi to me? I will loot you guys all later. Don't worry. That guy was just sleeping on the ground, and I just did what I did to him. Uh, that was a legendary. Look, there's another ghoul just sitting up there. How many ghouls are it, too? This is this needs to happen more often in the game. We just need more enemies. Hey, buddy. I don't need any crits, but I'll shoot you in the butt. Dunk. Oh man, that didn't look cool. Build, or that didn't look good for him. Build and activate recruitment radio bacon. Why? Oh, is this a quest for like Preston or something from forever ago? There's a dead person. There's clearly some ghouls down here. What do you got? Auto stem metal right leg. Well, that's Garbo. Jamaica plain mayor's password. Sal. You got a fucking like box carved in your head? And I get the scars, maybe, but a box. You have 11 missiles in your inventory. Well, let's take Sal's holo tape here and listen to this as we just kind of clear up some stuff here. We miscellaneous Sal all the way down. You gotta use that super scroll. God, I love this mouse. And Sal's super scroll. <laughs> no, I need Sal's holo tape. Damn it. Prepping for this off. There's no way I'm backing out now. Mm. That treasure will be mine. Even if I have to dig it up with my own bare hands. Find the treasures of Jamaica Plain. So apparently there's treasure here? She's like awfully pale. Granted, I understand the fact that she died, and usually that's what happens to a person, but I've never really seen like a character model that pale. She is very pale. A little bit weird. Okay, so not a functional terminal. So I am going to make this a settlement, and the easiest thing to do to loot this entire place, if you ask me, would honest to God be to go through and just scrap everything. Any container that has loot would get sent to your, your uh, whatchamacallit over there, and it would just it, it'd just be loot. One issue I'm, uh, I'm going to have is I don't think I can make the recruitment bacon. I highly, highly, highly doubt, unless that that thing, or there, were, there were footsteps down here, yeah. This dude's just crippled. Unless there are crystals in that workbench, I'm not going to have a, 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 the stuff to make the recruitment bacon. I'll have to send somebody here. Consworth, I'm about to give you some stuff here in a second there, buddy boy. I 
picked up an ass load of missiles. Can I can I trust you, Cogsworth, with a uh, missile launcher? There's so many goals, I can't keep up with them all. Oh, this is so fun. I don't know why I like it so much. I, I seriously wish I could find more places like this. That was that, like I don't know why it was so simple. Like <laughs> from, from from like a designing standpoint, I don't know why I found that so fun. But just coming across a random town and like taking it back, the bajillion and one ghouls, a whole bunch of dead people, and suddenly my settlement now. Uh, Mayor's terminal. So we have the thing to do this, but we obviously need to give Codsworth. Ah, uh, this is hooked up. I will, I will pick this. But yeah, I have to give Codsworth some stuff so I don't break my legs while I'm hacking that terminal. Damn it! I tried to let go, but apparently I didn't let go fast enough. I didn't pull out quick enough, and that is how you get kids. Yes. Use protection. Where are you at? This is loot. Calm down, dude. Stop twitching. That is, that is weird, Codsworth. Hold the missile launcher and as many missiles as you can. I don't. Yeah, he's full. So either way, we're not going to be underweight. Eh, screw it. Papa say if you use the terminal. Jamaica Plain Merrill password. Well, I got that. Well, again, Jamaica Plain Mayor Alyssa Park. Tre treasures exhibit speech. Treasures exhibit closing speech draft four. Friends, neighbors, and honored guests. We are gathered here today to commemorate the treasures of Jamaica Plain. Though ours may be a small community, it is, a rich, it is rich in history. Rich in culture, rich in memory. And for the sake of those memories, we commit the treasures to the earth to that the future generations might look back and remember where we stood and see how far they have come. Invocation, Pastor Warren, Sealing Ceremony, Potluck Dinner, South Lawn. Budget Statement, Jamaica Plain Township, Budget 2077 Fiscal Year, 10176 to 10177. Revenue, Property Taxes, 190.49 million. That's a lot of money. Income Tax, Fuck You Tax. Well, well Property Tax, Income Tax, Fuck You Taxes. Taxes suck. Income tax, 87.16 million. Revenue sharing, 148.87 million. Licenses, fees, and charges, 136.09 million. Total, 562.61 million. Expenses, salaries, and benefits, 291.68 million. Operating expenses, 169.01 million. Maintenance funds, 75.36 million. Treasures exhibit special funding, 38.7 million. Total, 574.84 million. Well, that's a lot. And we've already used these safes, so there's no need to do that. So let's get out of this building and drop the crap off that I have. Uh, and then we'll come back to that. It looks like there's a basement layer to this place that will... Oh, God, the flashing. You see that? That was that was weird. There was like a weird texture glitch that happened. But I am guessing there's an instance area in the basement that is related to this whole treasure quest thing. Which, <laughs> definitely not undertaking until I can uh, not be over-encumbered. Because both of us are overweight. Codsworth, come here. Come here. Hey, over here. Yeah, come here. Look a lot. Wait what? there. No, no, don't wait there. No, trade. Yes, sir. Okay, you're set. To, you're set to follow. Let's see here. You can now use the workshop at Jamaica Plain. And junk. <laughs> Lots of junk. So let's clean up that inventory, shall we? I don't need all these missiles and missile launchers and nonsense weighing me down. God, I still wish you could use missile launchers in survival. Legit, that is just not a weapon that you can practically use. I think there's a heavy weapons perk that lightens the load. Maybe I might be mistaken, but a, but eleven pound or eleven missiles is what was that eighty eight pounds? I think they're eight pounds a pop. That's just absurd. That is absolutely knuckin' futs. Ushunka hat and ammunition. Let's see here. 38, 38, 44, 45, 15. Okay, I don't need anywhere near that much ammo for my Gauss cannon. That's a it's a very rarely used weapon. Why can't I click the... That was weird. I couldn't click the slider. 5.56. Five, don't need you. Don't need you. Yeah, 11 missiles. No, thank you. <laughs> now I am at least underweight. Um, a, usually a lot of random stuff finds its way in here. And sure as shit, it absolutely did. Cram, squirrel bits. Dude, there's so much stuff in here that I just don't need. Dang. Thir I got 34 mentats at the school. Oh my god. There were so many drugs there. <laughs> That's a little bit of drugs, if you ask me. Just a little bit. Silt beans, potato, tarberry, whiskey. Yeah, look at, look at that. Look at that weight being low. Especially that I got rid of the overdue books, finally. Oh, eh, looks like I accidentally my 45 ammo. Good, good, good catch. I'll split the ammo. I'm, I'm likely to find more 45 than that. Split the ammo. And good to go. So can I build a recruitment bacon? And looks like there is one bed that's considered... A part of the settlement. 
Let's see, power, Codsworth Galloway. Codsworth is in the lane, mess with my building. Connectors and switches, no, that'd be, wait, no, that's, that's miscellaneous, what am I thinking? Oh snap, I do have the crystals. Okay. Oh man, it's a little bit smaller, ladies. Wow, okay, I am severely disappointed with that. I have my hopes up. So this settlement is a lot smaller than I was hoping here. Look at that buildable area. I can push that out, obviously, but uh, man, if it was only this entire settlement that I had access to, I would be a very happy camper. However, sooner than later, let's... Why did I randomly just get caps? I get that I pseudo-completed a quest, but why would I randomly be given caps? That was, that was strange. There's a ghoul over there. There's a ghoul right there. Got him! <laughs> There's another one. Hold on. I crouched and I can see him right here. Got him. <laughs> Idiot savanted him and everything. Oh, I tried. There's a ghoul way over there. There's a lot of ghouls here, as you can see. But, uh, the settlement size. Damn. I was absolutely hoping for a little bit more to work with. Well, I'm not gonna let that bum me out. I will absolutely be getting to the scrappy scrappy here. Let's clean this place up. Don't want to get rid of the sidewalks. I'll get rid of all the nasty things like crappy looking hedges and, and literal dirt piles and broken cars. Let's proclaim some of the materials for ourselves. No fungus. I don't want to mess with you. Lamp base, you are garbo. Yeah, I would have anything and end up replacing with a real one. Hoping here we can get a person because if we get a person, then boom, supply line. That solves a million problems. Otherwise, I have to go to... I'd probably end up going to the marina and sending that person here. I won't get rid of the retaining wall. That seems like a silly choice. I feel like as I scrap things, I'm just randomly uh, going to experience a ghoul encounter and have to uh, exit the interface. I feel like that's a, uh, a thing. A sewer entrance? No, there's just a dead person over there that I'm not supposed to inspect. I can, I can get rid of all of this. Like, what is it, F5 again? Timeout off, extra object selection enabled. I can probably go through here and get rid of a lot of this stuff. But until I complete some quests around this area, I don't want to go too ham with what I'm getting rid of. I don't want to break another quest. So apparently I was told, and thank God I was told this. I still have to look into this. I was told that you can update the scrap anything, or there's a patch that exists for it that will fix the old guns quest. And I need to look into that one. So I may yet be able to fix. Can I not break this stuff? This is just all part of the building. I may be able to fix the, the, the old guns quest, which is really cool. What's the debris here? Yeah, I don't want to break the house. So I may be able to fix the old guns quest, which is cool. I don't know of any problems over here, and I'd prefer to avoid experiencing them where at all possible. So the only things I'll be getting rid of are, like, you know, just trash for the moment. So that's cool though. I, I looks like I'll be able to fix the old guns quest if I can find out what, if I can find the specific patch that I need. Get out of here, shrub. <laughs> the cars were mating. I'm sorry. I hate to interrupt, Mr. Car, but uh, no, no mating on my time. That's just uh, a little too much. I don't think I can put that on the YouTube's. <laughs> they might yell at me for that one. They, they yell at me for everything, but they might yell at me for that one. Just that little cleanup makes this place look so much better. Get rid of the cars and the uh, the crappy ferns and hedges and shit. And leaf piles. Yeah, get rid of you. Trash can. I want no trash can, no newsstands. This is a bastard car, okay? This is a joke car. Oh my god. I wonder if I could throw that thing. So we, we know cars have physics because we have seen multiple cars fly in this game. Just the, as they load in, they, they do weird things. But uh, apparently... Apparently, they won't stay after place anywhere has been used. Boop. <laughs> I was wondering if maybe it fell, if it would take some sort of fall damage and blow up. I tried. I get, I'll get that crap car. It's a, that's a sad excuse for a car. Hey, look, there's actually a drainage ditch here. You never would have known. Cleaning up all that garbo. Pile of leaves. Who just lets all this trash pile up, man? This is this is messy. This is absolutely just gross. Okay, I don't know who this Debris person is, but she shows up in every settlement that I've ever been in. Get out of here, Debris, you jerk. Plywood, yeah, obviously Garbo. Yeah, I can just sort of fix this thing. I'll likely be getting rid of that in the near future, but sure, why not? Any other... Yeah, just big old debris piles. Sweet. So that's looking... That's looking half decent. What about out here? Anything that I can get rid of? Yeah, trash can. Oh, 
<laughs> hey, tin cans! Aluminum cans! Sweet. I like how you get a tin can, but you get steel from it. <laughs> Alright. Pile of leaves. Dude. This place is looking uh, pretty cool. Truck, obviously, Garbo. I don't know if you saw that. I just got like 40 frames right there. There's just certain areas and certain places in the game where you just... Regardless of your computer, it just kind of dunks on you. It sucks. I'm experiencing it right there. 45 frames. And it and it's not even just like a poor frame rate. Like there, There's games with lower frame rates. So there's games that are locked at like 30 frames, which in 2017 is honestly got unacceptable. 60 frames minimum. And locking frames is stupid. But like the, the, it'll look smooth at a really low frame rate. I think what what's mostly going on there is a thing called micro stutter, which if you know anything about computers, uh, yeah, that's, a, that's an annoying thing. And it's not like I'm running SLI or anything like that. That's a common problem with SLI in some games. This is a single GPU. Yeah, it seems like micro stutter, if you ask me. Definitely an annoying problem, but eh, whatevs. Ooh, how'd I miss this? Well, how I miss this, but I'm a dumb, and I will correct that mistake. So it looks like I just about got... Actually, I'll be... can I get that? Is that just outside of the settlement, maybe? Uh, looks like I got most of the crap that was here. Just a little bit of trash, I think, left over. And everything that was in the buildable area is now pretty much cleaned up. So that's that's looking better, in my humble opinion. I'll borrow this. So the next thing to do would be to get some of the basics down, some of the amenities to start spawning in, or rather accommodate the people who spawn in. And I don't know, I might exploit some shenanigans with a place like this. I might just keep it a teeny little settlement. We'll see. I'm really sad that I can't just go scrap all those buildings. God, I would love to have had this as a settlement. Almost like sanctuary tier. You know? Just a big place to work with. That would have been... That would have been amazing. Like, I, I, got, I got really excited. Hey! Damn, we got two people just like that. Let's fix the water supply before they go crazy. If not enough water, they'll get angry and they'll leave. I'm not going to bother powering that right now. Sorry, dudes. I'll put down some, some water pumps for you. And just just to get everybody started I, I, I need there I need there to be enough stuff here so they don't leave because they will just kind of go poof oh oh well I don't have the supply lines that stands the reason where is the person I need the person because if I supply line them then I have access to my materials then I can make uh all the stuff I, I'm basically going with what I just scrapped and what I had in my inventory hey you you hold still supply line Go to the marina. Yes. I'm pretty sure that that is the settlement that makes the most sense. Matt, press C. Yes, sir. Go to the marina. Funny how this place has two already. This place still has three only. Look at that network. Ten out of freaking ten. And now with that done, I should be able to put down whatever food I want. Oh, yeah. I got access to all the foodsies. All the foodsies. So, I mean... We can do this for the lols. <laughs> Just put their food right here. <laughs> it's kind of a place to be putting some decorative plants, but... You're, you're getting some mute fruit right there, and I'll sign the other dude to that. So that takes care of the food and water supply. They'll need some beds, but hey, we gotta start. Where, where are you at? You're not the supply line. It was the, it was the lady, right? Yeah, you. Come here. Yeah, you unassigned. I don't know why you're not walking into the settlement. Also, you're in a very bad spot. Like, there's still ghouls out there galore. Uh, you, you might not want to venture too far outside of the settlement. <laughs> you proc an enemy spawn and you're kind of boned, to, to be frank. Beds. Uh, for the lulls. At least they'll be safe up here. <laughs> you gotta sleep away from the zombies. You can't let the zombies get you in your sleep. That's a sad way to go. <laughs> yeah, it is fine. You calm down. Just enough beds to sort of start the settlement. Eh, nine, ten. Hmm. Might as well. Might as well eventually store these and put them in an actual location. This is just to start it. Good enough. I don't think we'll have 16 people here anytime soon. And... Defense. Don't I have normal turrets banked? Oh, I thought I had a couple of these. I'm not going to put the missile turrets down yet. That is something that I will do once the actual power situation is... Solved. This is a temporary. This is a stopgap. This is just to build them up a wee bit. Have them protected. Because there are ghouls that are still here. And the last thing I need to do is have my settlers, my very few limited amount of settlers that do make it here, die. That would that'd be embarrassing. 
<laughs> That'd be really embarrassing. I already think we're fortified enough to deal with just about any ghoul, but you never really know. So if you're at the centralized building, you're pretty well covered. If you're at your crop area, you're pretty damn well covered. Uh, this would be like a forward... Let's see, let's press F5. Let's do something funny here. This would be like a forward positioning turret. Um, I should be able to just put it right here and not have an issue. Yeah, that's not really outside of the settlement per se. And, I mean... Oh, hello. Don't mind me just falling through the... Falling through the textures that there. Here, just a floaty turret. Can't get me now, ghouls. Good enough. I think we got some decent protection. What else am I missing? Beds, food, water, power, power. Everything's good. Yeah, I just have to let the let the uh, the situation pan out as we get more people. I'm not going to worry about building this thing up too, too much. I think I should focus on killing the ghouls that are still here and looting the ones that I have not because there were quite a few ghoul corpses and the last thing I need is them disappearing and me getting robbed of resources. Codsworth just said, like, surely. And it really spooked me for a second because I thought it was like, surely. Like, he, he held surely for a really long time at a distance. I thought something was making a really creepy noise in the game, and I'm like, what the fuck is that? Like, is there, is like some kind of enemy I've never encountered, like, about to hit me? What the hell? It's kind of spoopy. Codsworth, you, 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 you find the boss? You, you, you're not telling me this? Sucks, though, because, again, there's, there's these buildings right here that are all busted. But they are not a part of the settlement, but they're right next door. So, I think I looted pretty much all of this up here, right? For the most part, yeah, I think we're... I think we're pretty dang good. Yeah, we looted all this stuff, so let's not worry about that. We could go in the instance, but again, it doesn't make the most sense to me. There's quite a few ghouls that I will not even be able to find that are just sitting here around in a million pieces. Uh, hello? Ghouls? I'm just on a... I'm on cleanup duty right now. We'll, we'll, we'll loot, and then we'll go back, and we'll drop shit off. We're, we're on cleanup duty. There's a ghoul. <laughs> this is some awkward aiming. I hit the... Uh, <laughs> I hit the coffee pot. It's not often I aim in third person. I find that very disorienting. Oh, God, do I find it very disorienting. It's very nice from a perspective of you get to see more of the world, but it's very strange aiming like this in Fallout to me. I know there's some people who just play like this, like this is their preferred playstyle. Uh, can't do it. Blech. I like first person. It feels it feels better. I feel I feel more in control, which is kind of weird. In third person, you figure you'd have more more flexibility, you know. I feel more in control. Hey, I see you. I feel like some of the hits hit reg is off too. I think I'm not really aiming where I think I am. <laughs> I saw that red thing back there. That was my turret. I was like, what's that? So what's this random ghoul mess that's here? So it's got a mark on it. It's probably related to this find the treasure quest. What's on this rando ghoul? Hey, 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 all the ghouls. What's going on there, ghoul buddies? Oh, you're not a ghoul. Uh, Carl's log. Hi, Carl. You're you're awfully pale too. Like the lot of you are. You almost look like aliens. Carl's log. I don't want anything to do with Carl's penis, but we'll take, we'll take a look at Carl's log. Dick jokes. Carl. Carl, Carl, Carl. Let's keep going. Carl. Carl's log. Ah, damn it. It's not a voice thingy. Making me read. Welcome back, Carl. All caps. Jamaica Plain Raid Team. Sal, lead, heavy weapons. Luke, Silverhand, Gearhead, Tech, Intel. Ken, Standish, Scout, Locks, Trap, Stealth. Tanya Standish, so husband, wife, baby, or brother and sister? I don't know. Small arms in close combat. Hadrian Sniper, no response. Carl Everett, getting the hell out of here. So Carl didn't want to be here. August log entries. 822, Sal again. Damn woman won't give up. Never should have taken that contract. I've got 10 days to come up with a cap, so she'll haul me in for the bounty. That's what I get for crossing an ex gunner. 829, nothing. All short term gigs are for mercs or gearheads. No one needs a fixer, even with my connections, but I've got to come up with the money somehow. 831, an old rumor. That's all I got. But if I spin it right, maybe I can convince Sal I'm worth more than the price of my head. September log entries. So 9 1. She bought it. The treasure to Jamaica plane. Greatest prize in the Commonwealth. The big score no one's ever pulled off. I convinced her I can pull together a team. If it'll keep me breathing, I'll call in every favor I've got. 9 22. I've dug up all the info I can. There's something. 
There's something down there, something big. Security sounds insane. Turrets, robots, locks, you name it. And that's if you can make it past the ghouls. 200 years and no one's even come close. And yet, the old paper barely mentioned it. The old papers barely mention it. Something's fishy. I don't know what. I just hope Sal doesn't catch until catch until I'm, wait, catch, catch on until I'm far away. October. No word from Hadrian, but uh, uh, but the others are all here. Sal's got heavy weapons covered. Old Silverhand himself to handle security. Ken Standish for scouting and locks. His wife is wife for muscle. His wife for muscle. What a pussy. <laughs> Letting your wife do all the heavy lifting. You poor excuse for a man. And to keep him in line, even managed to scrounge up some pre-war junk from the town. Maybe it'll come in handy. Ten, no, ten five. Sal's insisting I go. I go along. I tried to beg. Uh, I tried to beg off. I'm gonna say try, try to beg off. Try to beg off. Oh, wait, what do you mean beg off? Try to beg off, but she won't have it. I know too much. Once she gets the treasure, she'll gut the lot of us. I'm sure. And nothing I can do to stop her. I don't think I'm getting out of this alive. Rip, Carl. Well, I don't know what killed you, Carl, but. You're also, like, really pale. Might have been the ghouls, but you're really pale. Uh, you're also missing a leg that I had nothing to do with. So, I'll put you in the fire. I think maybe this is, this is better for you. Oh my god, I don't know how I compacted him so much. Normally I can't do that, but hey. Well, eventually maybe you'll roast away and no one will ever know. And you'll be happy for it. And face. Right in the face. So, like I said, more ghouls. There are ghouls everywhere. I've got some, uh, I've got some cleaning to do. I've got some splaining to do. No, I've got some cleaning to do. I'm one cleanup crew. <laughs> However, guys, it does look like it is time to wrap the episode up here. Episode 659. It sounds like there's a ghoul very, very close by. But Jamaica Plain overran by ghouls. Abs of freaking lootly. They're, they're beating up Consworth. I'm not even going to attack them because I'll probably just hit Consworth. I think he killed it. Tons of ghouls, a smaller settlement than I expected, honestly. I really, really was kind of resilient. Is that a resilient rifle? I was really expecting a bit more, and it kind of sucks. 150% damage, ah, damage resistance while reloading, that's garbo. I was expecting a little bit bigger of a settlement area, but you know me, I can totally cheese it if I so chose. Probably really won't, because it usually causes a couple problems. But, yeah, all in all, it's a good spot for a settlement. It's a very well-positioned settlement for dropping shit off. So can't complain about that at all. I'm totally okay with this. Dude, what is with all the dead people and the dead ghouls? There's uh, actual dead humans over there, not like ghouls ghouls. I bet they have entries on them. Let me, let me go check them real quick. Uh, oh, I gotta put away the burnt books that I have. I can further weight reduce myself. Nice. You guys, blow your, uh, blow your heads off. Ken Standish and Tanya Standish. Okay. So those two, those two took the easy way out, it would appear. They were, uh, they were like, nope, this ain't working. I'm not gonna loot them right now, I'll loot them in a second. I'll, I'll loot them in the beginning of the next episode, so I don't forget anything. But yeah, guys, I'm wrapping up here, episode 659. Thank you guys all for watching, and I'll see you next time.